Happy Hot Mess Monday, guys. This is Sugar Jones and I'm still in the hotel. It is probably the last Monday, crossing my fingers, that I'm going to be in a hotel waiting for the construction of our rental to be completed. We'll see. But the thing I wanted to talk about today was something that happened over the weekend. J-Lo, she turned 52 and she looks amazing. And every one of us that's over 50 is like, God damn it, huh? <laughs> Our grandmas did not look like this. Our grandmas were like, mm -mm. bonbons on the couch, do their job, blah, blah, blah. They did it all, they're done. Jayla comes out like looking like her sexiest, sveltest, fittest, hottest self yet. Now the rest of us gotta keep working out. Damn it, but she looks great and she looks amazing. And if you saw, she looks fabulously and amazingly in love. Yes, I loved the Benefer picture. I'm sorry, I really did. But here's what I wanted to talk about as the hot mess. There was a tweet that went out and said, said something like, um, JLo said, I can fix him. And she did. And I wanted to reply, this long stream of consciousness when that happened because I was like, no, 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 that is such a dangerous thought because that's going to make everybody that thinks they're going to be able to fix a man, just it's going to empower them. Just like we think we can just do some workouts and just like eat gluten-free and we're going to look like J-Lo. Mm -mm. <laughs> that shit ain't going to happen. So here's what the deal is. They've had time. They have had time. I mean, what is their, they're like, they like started way 19 years ago, almost 20 years ago. They've had time to change and morph and like go through some stuff. But also, I don't think they've completely unhot messified their lives. Because I mean, look, JLo had just been celebrating a big fat diamond ring and engagement on some beach somewhere with A-Rod not more than a, what, year and a half ago, year ago? I mean, I don't forget, I forget why they broke up. Did he cheat on her? That doesn't matter. What I'm saying is she's kind of like fresh off of that, you know, and we were all thinking we were gonna see a wedding. They were at the inauguration together. It's only July, so. It's a, it's a really, really quick turnaround time to be back with a boyfriend from way back when. Ben has had his own issues. <laughs> and you know, knock on wood, and I hope for the best because he looks healthy and happy and super strong right now. But relapses happen. That's just kind of part of life. And things happen to everybody and everybody goes through stuff and and I feel bad for them for being under the microscope of just like everybody waiting to see, like we're all excited, Benefer's all together again, woohoo! But then the minute any chink in the armor, if his little tummy starts to get bigger, if he's out smoking a cigarette somewhere, or if she's like shopping alone in Milan, why didn't Ben go with her, blah, 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 everybody's gonna be watching, that sucks. It's hard enough to live a life like they're living, well, minus the freaking money and millions of dollars and yachts and jets and all, I'm sure that's not that difficult. That's the easy part. But the life of she just split up with a guy who she thought she was gonna marry and he's, you know, up and down, in and out, you know. Anyway, we'll see what happens there. But like, don't ever, don't kid yourself. You can't fix them, ladies. That's a mess you do not want to get into. Trust me, trust me. Just hope for the best for Benifer on that side. The other thing I wanted to kind of mention was in my DMs, I received so many um, like responses from women that were so excited because I posted the picture of Jen and Ben hugging of, of Ben just with his arms around her and her just like standing there just receiving this beautiful warm hug of love and ah oh, goodness and it just looked so it didn't look super passionate it just looked like love and I wrote this is going on my vision board because that's the love we all desire right the love of a of a partner putting their arms around you and you just receiving that love and giving it back from your heart and just being happy, 
just being happy on a yacht on your birthday. <laughs> but still, that happiness, that joy, that love, that's what I like that's what we should all desire and crave and want in our lives. But some guys were like, "Oh, I didn't know you were like into Ben Affleck." And I was like, "What?" And then somebody else was like, "Is it the dude or is it the outfit?" And I was like, "What?" Oh yeah, I would want a yacht too, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you guys completely missed the picture on this. And the people that did miss the picture on it are woefully <laughs> undateable. <laughs> because if you did not see what the rest of us saw in that picture, I'm really sorry, bro. Really sorry. I think you really need to take a deeper look at that picture and see what it was that the rest of us we're super duper stoked about. Ah, this is a pre-recorded Hot Mess Monday today, as you probably figured out if you ever come live. But if not, it's just like normal, you know? But I have stuff to do. I have a little celebration to have right now with my son, but I just wanted to come on really quickly and just talk about how awesome it is that Benifer are back together. But it still could be a hot mess. And that's just life. Life and love and hot messes, it's just one big crazy roller coaster ride to the end. And if we get more good days than bad days, you did a good job. So, anyway, happy Hot Mess Monday, you guys. I'll see you next week. Pre recorded again because I got a job. Woo! All right, bye, guys.